Hi, this is David, and thank you for checking out this video. Uh, what, what I've run into quite a bit is where when we have uh, ladies come in and they've had makeup put on, uh, whether it's professional or not, a lot of times it won't match the skin tones on their neck or shoulders or something like that. So um, this is just sort of an easy fix uh, for that if you have a, a pretty big difference. I could try and lighten this up a little bit, but I'm not going to achieve this gold tone to it without a lot of manipulation. Uh, so I, I kind of found a quick and easy way to kind of do this without doing all the other color modifications. Uh, what we're going to do is whenever I ha have a, something I'm working on, I do a command J automatically. That's just what I do so that if I screw something up, I can always get rid of the layer. So we're working on this main layer here. We're going to um, go ahead and take some of this skin color and bring it down here. And a quick and easy way to do that is just to grab your lasso tool and come up here and just circle the area that you want to bring down because this color is, is pretty clean and I'd like to just bring it down in this area so that we can sort of match the neck uh, chest area to her face a little better. And uh, once we have that area selected, we're gonna do a Command J, which is basically duplicating that layer uh, that, that selection we made and put it on its own layer. So if we turn these off, you can see we just have that skin selection. Now what we wanna do is grab our Move tool and it's right up here or if you use your uh, quick select, quick typed keys, you can just do V for move, as in move. So we're gonna hit our V and basically grab that skin tone and bring it down here. Uh, so what we wanna do is make this large enough to cover this area through here. And to do that, we're gonna just make sure that that, that uh, layer is selected and we're gonna hit Command T, and basically free transform, and we're gonna drag that up to cover up her whole chest area and neck area and just double click. So now that's sort of hiding that area and that skin tone is a little better than what's there now. Um, you can also come in here and lighten it up. If you wanna lighten just this specific layer, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it just so you can see the difference. So I did a Command J to duplicate just the layer. And if we come up here, we wanna just affect this and nothing else. So to do that, we have uh, this layer selected. We're gonna come up to Image and go to Adjustments and brightness and contrast and then what we can do is just bring that that up just a little bit if we like to try and get it a little closer to her her actual face tones so just to see the difference you can kind of see how i lighten it up a little bit i'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now and what we want to do is just bring this into her chest now so we're going to go ahead and add a mask to this and the purpose of that is to get rid of the area that's covering her chin and her black scarf. So um, what we can do is start painting on the mask in black because um, black is going to conceal the area. So we want to have black selected. We have black and white here. So we're going to toggle back and forth between the two by hitting the letter X. And we're going to hit our paint brush, which is B for brush. And then we can just kind of paint in here and bring some of the areas back that we don't want covered up by the that layer. And what's really nice about the mask is I kind of remember where it was, the area was for the most part that we need to hide. But it's also kind of hard to, to know where it's at. But with the mask tool, what you can do is toggle back and forth in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle back to bring some of this back. So I'm just flipping back and forth right now. So to make this effect work a little better, what we wanna do is we have the layer selected and we wanna change the blend mode and we're gonna change the blend mode to soft light and that just kinda of just drops it in. So you can kinda of see the difference of what we're getting, how it kinda of lightens that area up. And then what we wanna do is just clean it up a lot more. So right now it's affecting her hair. If you look at her hair right through here and in here, when I toggle back and forth, you can see it's actually changed the color of the hair a little bit. So we're still on our mask. We wanna make sure our brush tool is selected by hitting B, make our brush a little bit smaller, and we're gonna paint in again. And we're gonna paint in black. So we're gonna to toggle back to black. And then basically, we're gonna bring that color of the hair back. And you can see how that's smoothing that out. And then right in here too. Now this brush is a little big. I could make it a little smaller, but I'll show you what we can do. So in here, we're bringing this area back and it's most noticeable on this right here. You can see how it, it sort of brought some of the other color back. So what we wanna do is toggle back again and we're just gonna kinda of clean that up just by 
using a real soft brush and you can kind of just pull that back in. So you're still keeping the color of the hair, yet the area just around it, you're, you're letting the natural part come through. So just to see the difference, what you have, you can kind of see how that just pulled that color back into the skin tones a little more. You can make some adjustments and go in and modify a little bit more, like this area is being affected a lot still. So we can still paint in there. Just make sure we have our brush selected. We can go back in here and paint again and just bring that back just by toggling back and forth. So that's a quick and easy way on how to do that. It's um, pretty fast when you're just trying not to explain it and just toggling back and forth. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot me a, a comment on the YouTube channel. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Thanks so much.